from Lynn Conway's computer-aided design of very large-scale microchips, et cetera, the greatest inventor of our century, uh, top years were lost to gender dysphoria. Wouldn't we be better with earlier okay for kids to be trans? I, I think it's just, uh, you know, you, how do you know when kids are objective about this? Uh, kids, uh, you know, are very prone to be emotional. They do not have full capacity to reason. They have not fully developed. So, for example, a lot of girls, when they grow up, are tomboys. And they, they love to hang out with the boys and, you know, and they, 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 they love to do boys things and all of that. And, and many of them complain that they want to be boys. They wish they were born boys. And then puberty happens. And suddenly they become girls, women. They, 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 they get all the pluses and, I guess, the, 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 the aches and pains of being a woman. And suddenly they become, they realize the beauty and power and, uh, you know, wonder of being a woman, of uh, that this biology, this particular biology uh, gives you. And they abandon their tomboy ways and are quite happy. So if a, if an, a 10 year old girl says, I want to be a man, and she hasn't experienced puberty yet, she doesn't know what she wants. And how does she know what you want? We don't, God, we don't let kids decide anything of importance. Almost nothing in, in, in the modern world with helicopter parents. Now we want to let kids decide to take hormones that will prevent them from having puberty, that will change their sex. I mean, that to me is insane. Now, when they're post-puberty, 17, 18, 19, I, I would like to make it, 18, you know, the age of adulthood, the age where they can make decisions for themselves. The frontal, lo the, the frontal cortex doesn't develop until, you know, they say until the late teens, early 20s, fully develop. Uh, you know, they should be in to make such a big decision. This is a big decision. To make such a big decision, you have to have your full cognitive capabilities to do it. And if they can't sign contracts, you should not be, you know, agreeing to uh, uh, change their, their um, biology. When they're adults, they can do what they want. So, uh, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't do it before the age of 18. Uh, you know, if you can't vote, you shouldn't be able to choose what sex you are. You, you, wouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to choose voluntarily to um, uh, change your biology. If you can't drink, you can't drink beer. Whatever the age of drinking beer is in the United States, that, you know, 21, 18, whatever that is, that should be the age. So, no, I, I don't think 16-year-olds know what they want. Um, almost no 16-year-old I know is, uh, is, I would consider, an adult, particularly not American 16-year-olds who are unbelievably childish, uh, prone to uh, uh, being influenced by, by peers uh, in, in irrational ways. Uh, it's very difficult to find a 16, uh, a rational 16-year-old. So... Uh, the later, the better they make the decision. And yeah, th there's a cost to it. Look, uh, dysphoria, gender dysphoria is a real cost. It's a, you know, it's really screwed up. And um, there's a price to pay for it. Right? There's a price to pay for it. There's no shortcuts here. And, but you can't, I think it's child abuse. I think the, the, the state should prevent parents from, uh, from transitioning children. I think it should be a crime to transition children. Uh, you know, I, before, certainly before puberty. But again, I think the child needs to consent. And because it needs to consent, it needs to be at the consent age, which means 18. And I don't, and I don't think this 
subjectivist nonsense should be taught. The subjectivist part of it. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.